Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the upgraded Titan TV Man Quest Morph. But before I keep going, shout out today goes to Adam is Kandar 5405. Then being first at commenting first. All right, so if you open up your quest, you're going to see that there is no upgraded Titan TV Man. The thing is, you actually need to go to Skippyverse 2.0 demo. And in order to get there, you need the demo quest completed, which if you have not done that already, I highly recommend it. So then you can become upgraded Titan TV man. So this is the quest you need to complete in order to essentially complete upgraded Titan TV man. So here is the portal or you can quick teleport now for five Robux. They actually lowered it down. So go over into Skippyverse 2.0. And then, once you are there, that is where you will start the quest for Upgraded Titan TV Man. Now, I've actually already completed it because it was super hard, and I wanted to just get it done before I did the intro. But if you go here to quest, you will see Power Up the Generator. That is the Upgraded Titan TV Man, and these are all the tasks that we need to do. Now, what you gotta do next is go here to Travel. And head over to Wastelands. Yes, this is the new map. It is super cool. Reminds me of a Fortnite. Fortnite. Now, once you're here, you're going to fly up. And you're going to go to the bunker. This is probably the hardest part of the quest. Is the bunker. The door. And then the inner bunker door. Which I will show you guys once uh, I get in there. But you're going to go here. And then you're going to interact with this panel. You can either be player one or player two or so forth, whatever. Now, the problem is you've got to take turns. Kind of like the cameraman plunger quest. Same thing. You need two players in order to do this. Now, what's nice is if you get the code right, you get to stay and the other person gets kicked out and you wait till someone else fills their spot. Now, the code for this door is random every single time. Time. it is random there's no set code you the problem is right now on mobile the scrolling to get to the numbers is bugged it's or difficult for some as I've heard all right so this is what it looks like and if you're on PC you just use your mouse wheel and spin and you want to get it onto these brighter colored numbers and then, you know, see, there we go. The other guy failed, but I get to stay until the next person comes in. And again, the numbers are random. The code is different every single time. Sometimes it might be the same, but it's never the same again. Always like you get what I mean. It's random and you just keep doing this until someone, you know, finally gets their code right and you guys can both get in. Uh, sometimes it bugs out where it says waiting for player two, even though you are player two. So, you know, there we go. Once you get in, this is the hardest part. You got to go over to this panel and it's going to give you like 10 numbers that you got to add. It's always adding. Never subtraction, division, multi none of that. You got to add all the numbers up. However, you have a very short amount of time. So I suggest either getting out your phone, a calculator, or um, being super fast in your head. It's up to you, but I'm going to show you guys real quick what it looks like and uh, you will see you have 10 seconds to solve all this Good luck. All right So once you get inside of the bunker that will complete the inner bunker door Then you're going to do is head over to find the malfunction. You're gonna run down this hallway all the way take a left turn head into this room the door is closed. Just got to hold down E, which is super easy. Probably the hardest part of all this quest is the math problem. Now, I know I said you can get out a calculator or your phone. Use Google Lens. Somebody, uh, Roblox Zilla, told me this. It helps. You take a picture, it immediately tells you the answer. So, once you're in here, what you got to do then is head over to the malfunction, which is this power up the generator which um you can go over to this and then it will give you a long dialogue yes i know malfunction malfunction system bada bing bada boom and there we go now we start getting a lot of text um you can read it if you want um i am not because this quest is long enough already but 
then that will be find the malfunction then oil the generator which is behind the generator right over here this beautiful oil barrel barrels <laughs> anyways i'm literally losing my mind because of this quest i hate this quest so much all right so once you've done that you will see that the oil is done now you do have to come back here again which is a pain in the butt but once you've done that you're gonna go over to this electric panel whatever you want to call it and touch it yes you are going to touch it <laughs> and once you've done that boom i wonder if this was safe to touch i need to get out of here before something happens yes but there you go next is patch the energy line i wonder if they fixed this door if not you should be able to just teleport out which might actually be easier that way i really wish you were able just to come back here once you've opened the door but whatever all right so no it does not work so you have to actually click travel and go to wasteland from here you're gonna fly up and you're gonna go over to this power line right here okay and you're gonna then follow it this way this is the farthest you're gonna be going in the wasteland area or what i like to call it the new fortnite season now at the end of this power line you are going to see some electricity right there all right now what's really difficult about this is that you can't access it like that i actually wonder off the top of my head can we access it as a skibbity toilet uh, no you can't okay so you do need to be flying now what you can try doing is starting from the bottom and then slowly flying up because dark speaker man does fly up slowly um but the thing is he bounces a lot it's really really annoying so what you're gonna have to do is get it just right there we go and come on and boom there we go that will then complete patch the energy line next one or question marks what you're gonna do is just go ahead and follow the road here and go to the right you're gonna cross over this bridge you do not have to do this um always flying but you do need dark speaker man for pretty much the whole thing um once you get over here you're gonna see a red truck now this you do have to do in order you're gonna have to drop on down and then go over to this one right over here it's a little annoying just because of the fact that you have to come from underneath it now you can do a jump and try to land on this post which oh come on come on ah there we go all right so interact with this post right here which will then complete the first question mark uh i guess task then you're gonna head over to this one over here same thing you can try jumping or doing the um flying but i think you should be able to walk forward there we go going upwards because it's kind of slanted then you're going to interact with this which will then complete the second question mark next is find the energy source everyone keeps saying it's been removed i don't think so what you're gonna do is head over this direction you're gonna see a house over here all by itself but you're not actually going into the house what you gotta do is go over into the shed which is gonna be right over here now you can't interact with it as a normal character so this is when you need a skibbity toilet a small one boom go over to it like so collect the item yes i don't know why the energy well i guess energy source could be gas or diesel but there you go you find the energy source and this is where it gets annoying because now you've got to start the generator which we all know the generator is where we all started this quest which is at this stupid door so i will see you guys in a few all right i'm telling you guys google lens is is a save a lifesaver so once you get back in you're gonna go back towards the generator room like so nothing changes in here except you know you are now gonna be turning on the generator i still don't know why this door is gonna take forever but it doesn't matter this i'd rather take this any day than that stupid math thing that is dumb fast math anyways go ahead here i don't know why those barrels are shaking <laughs> 
you can go ahead and power up the generator like so boom oh wait no start the generator my bad not there we go that's the start the generator it's kind of like an off and on switch you gotta go to the off and on switch and turn it on right here okay boom the generator is up and running that is there we go now we got established connection you do have to leave but you do not have to come back here so just travel back to wasteland once you're here you're gonna fly up and go towards the satellite dishes the big plates that's right we like plates plates are fun all right so here we go go over here and this part might be a little tricky just because you have to get it just right because it's at the tip of the um satellite dish right here so you gotta eh. all right i'm gonna interact with it there we go you kind of slide forward a bit and there you go you have completed the quest power up the generator you received the more upgraded titan tv man and received three thousand skimmy coins holy cow we finally did it and there he is upgraded titan tv man oh now the thing is he only has abilities here in Skibbyverse 2.0, all right? He does not have it in Skibbyverse 1.0. However, you do get the morph there as well. But thank goodness we've done it, people. We've got the claw attack, which changes the face. We've got the sword attack, also changes with some animation explosion. we got the core blast, which is awesome. Wait for it. All right, that's right. We have to be near a enemy, which uh, there's none. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. There's a G-Man right there. Hey, G-Man, how you doing? It's time to die. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is epic. Epic. And Screen Blast, which is the red screen of death, which is also amazing. Hey, good job, upgraded Titan Drill Man. But there you go, guys. If you enjoyed, then go ahead and leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the badge hunting squad today. Use our code DIGI whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and go on badge hunting. Bye-bye.